This could be the best racing wheel I've ever unboxed. This is the Moza FSR racing wheel. And I mean, just look at it. It literally has an HD screen on it, carbon fiber. This retails for about 600 pounds, about 650 US dollars. And I cannot wait to get my hands on this. I mean, this could be the best wheel that I've ever raced on. We're going to see. Now, this video is not sponsored by Moza, but Moza did provide this wheel to me for free. So it's very, very, very important that you know that. I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on the unboxing. This is the Moser wheel that I started on, the very basic wheel that comes with the R5 bundle. What's the difference going to be between this and this? We're going to find out. I mean, I just can't wait. Let's get straight into it here. So you can see on the back of the box, we've got the wheel in use on maybe that's the R21 base um, and some um, very fancy looking pedals here. And then on the front, we've got the big picture of the wheel. And on the side, we've got some information about the HD screen, uh, magnetic shifters, in fact, dual clutch photoelectric magnetic paddles, RGB, customized quick release from real racing and carbon fiber as well. You can see in the background of this video, that's me driving a Ferrari GT3 racing car. And so I do have experience of actual sort of <laughs> GT style racing uh, wheels. This is meant to be a formula racing wheel. We're going to have a look. So there come the tags off the side. Slide it down. Anticipation. Put the box to one side. So these are stickers um, and one solitary Allen key. So that suits me. I like just having one Allen key, not a load of bolts and stuff. And we've got loads of stickers here. So you're able to customize it. DRS, cam, traction control, KEPS, PDS, ABFs, MG UK, a lot of formula style stuff on these stickers, um, which is very cool. And wow, already we're into the meat of the unboxing here. There we go. Really can't drop this one, right? <laughs> Let's get this out. Oh, okay, it's coming in this whole box. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, put the box to one side. The box is now empty. So this is it. This is the wheel, the FSR racing wheel from Moza. My word, just getting some glimpses of it here. Right, let's take it out. You can see the front of it before me. Oh, this thing feels very, very, very tight and refined. Very tight and refined. My word. This is very clearly a different level from just holding it. Um, Wow. This is, I'm trying to explain everything here that's different. The grips are not your normal grips. Um, let's see what else I've got here. So here we've got, for example, the Fanatec McLaren GT3. And I really like the grips on this thing. Um, these are a different level. These are perforated. You can feel that they're just much, much, much higher quality. Um, this is also now incredibly light in comparison. This wheel feels very, very, very solid. And the quick release seems to be a big part of that. I mean, when you compare these quick releases, no comparison. I mean, this is just a solid quick release, but this is in a different price range. Um, so we'll put that back down here. Back to the Moser. Oh, what do we not have on the front? What do we not have? <laughs> We've got um, a 12-way encoder here another 12-way encoder, another 12-way encoder, and another 12-way encoder. So we've got four 12-way encoders. We've got a brake bias dial here. I'm not sure how many that is. That might be 12 or 10. We've got a diff encoder here. That might be 12 or 10. We've got a DRS button, a box button, S1, so that's programmable, S2, pit limiter button, P button, TR, neutral, reverse, and then we've got the two joysticks here. Not funky, just joysticks, um, but actual joysticks. And the mechanism you can see is pretty crazy. And then the shift is going to be my first time doing the shifting. Are we ready? That's the best shift I've ever used. That is a... That is a shifter where you know you've shifted. It requires a bit of pressure to get it going, and then it just goes. It's like it feels like a semi-automatic rifle almost. It's 
especially in Formula games or Sims, where you're going to be shifting up and down, you know, a lot, going up and down eight gears. And then these are the clutch paddles, which also nicely rest after you've hit the travel. So the Allen key must be here to, um, is that take out the screen or something? I'll leave the screen protector on. And yeah, this is different level. Everything here feels premium. I'm trying to find something. Look, I've tried the Fanatec BMW M4 GT3 wheel, the one that Valentino Rossi uses. And honestly, if you put them side by side, this one looks more premium. The Fanatec GT3 actually looks kind of over simplistic, I think because that's a real racing wheel. So you only really have three dials on it, quite big ones, because in the heat of the moment when you're racing, you're not going to fiddle around too much. This is obviously a sim, sim racing wheel designed for sim racing. So we have a lot more buttons, a lot more customization. Um, but the materials were absolutely insane. Putting it here so you can see. Let me cancel that tracking so you can focus on it now. There you go. Can you see the wheel? I mean, this thing just feels unbelievably well engineered and precise. Here are the shifters. And the paddles. I mean, there's nothing cheap about this. Like, no rattling at all. The quick release feels very solid. Looks like the same family of quick release but the materials feel a little bit nicer, feels heavier. So I'm not sure why that is. Um, but yeah, this thing is absolutely crazy. This is the Moser FSR racing wheel. Obviously, big thanks to Moser for sending it over. We're going to put it on the rig and put it through its paces. And frankly, I can't wait. This, this might become my favourite rim because it just looks to be so precise and focused, and that's what I like for my racing wheels. So Mosa FSR rim, if you enjoyed this, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're now gonna put it on the rig and put it through its paces, let's go.